espacio. Fonte que acolhe os que buscam a luz e a sabedoria. Mãos que amparam, que curam e que nos guiam. Palavra que nos conforta e nos enche de energia. Força que nos faz ver no escuro a luz do próximo dia. Estrada iluminada que nos mostra a direção e o caminho. E nos faz sentir seguros sem medo de andar sozinhos. Quando buscamos a ti, voamos qual passarinho. Enviado do Criador, rebanhando teus filhos por ninho. Sou feliz por ouvir teu conselho, por contar com tua mensagem. Quero ser uma ovelha do teu rebanho e da tua pastagem. Quero ver a luz divina refletindo tua imagem. E quando vier a tormenta, quero no teu abrigo esperar a estiagem. Quero seguir o destino que aponta a tua mão. Quero entrar no canal que mergulha na imensidão para dar os primeiros passos me juntar à tua legião. Escutar as tuas palavras, aprender a nova lição. Pregador das palavras de Cristo, demonstração de humildade. Nosso exemplo presente de amor e de bondade, nos brinda com a distinção da presença e da caridade, semeia entre nossas trevas a semente da verdade, conduz a minha passagem pelos caminhos da fé, siga sempre minhas pegadas e as marcas do meu pé. Atravessando os desertos, onde andaram Maria e José, me levando ao encontro do Rei, o Jesus de Nazaré. two days a week, Wednesday and Friday. This is phenomenal. Our prayers are being answered. So I thought today we would celebrate with Saint Rita 
of Cassia. To God, all things are possible. There'll be no stopping us now. <laughs> and this morning, the current was so beautiful. Shorter, of course. But the blue of the chasm reflecting with the deep blue sky and the white fluffy clouds also being reflected in the white of the casa and big blue array azules flying overhead and it was just so beautiful and you may be able to hear the birds serenading us outside in a divine symphony and we are moving forward together as one family. The current never stopped. It was always running. It's just now the physical doors are open and we can partake physically. The afternoon current is now in session at the Casa. So we are connecting with this very high vibration from all over the world. How beautiful is that? As we allow our own light to shine, we automatically liberate others to do the same. And this energy is multiplying so much now on Earth. The entities have never been so busy and their presence is felt so much they don't know any borders or boundaries or time or space. They are with us wherever we are in the world. So with this beautiful joy in our hearts, let us relax as much as we possibly can now, wherever you are in the world. If you're lucky enough to be lying on a crystal bed, this is great connecting with the high vibration of the crystals. If you prefer to sit upright with our heads elevated just a little, as this energy flows fluidly, freely and easily through each and every one of us, connecting us across the miles from the portal of the casa. Like a river, a current of love and light. And if you remember to put a glass of water beside you, this will be blessed and we'll drink it at the end of the work to nourish us mind, body and spirit. So as we close our physical eyes now, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see everything, all there is. We are reminded again and again that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. So as we connect now to this beautiful, high vibration to all of these entities of the casa and in particular to our sister saint rita of cassia one of the most admired saints in the christian world she was an only child a wife a mother a widow a nun and a miracle worker she still working her magic now here on earth. She had a very difficult life and she lived it to the fullest of her femininity. She lived for 40 years in the St. Mary Magdalene convent in Cassia in Italy and she lived by the St. Augustine rule, serving God with fast and prayers, with charity in total service to God. Her birth was prophesied. And these rocky zones will be illuminated by a divine light. 
the Margarita, a divine light who will shine and will surpass lands and seas and humility will overcome vanity. Lots of people will travel here to Cassia in Italy, coming from every part of the world to sing hymns of praise to the eternal God. She was born in 1381 and as a baby even, white bees were coming in and out of her mouth depositing honey. And an injured labourer with a bleeding arm was shooing the bees away and his arm was miraculously healed. So she started very early performing her miracles when she was just a little baby. And she became a nun and was treated very harshly in the Augustine convent in Cassia. She tended to a dead vine and roses bloomed there. At 61 years of age, she received the stigmata on her forehead, a thorn from the crown of thorns of her brother Jesus. And she bore it for 15 years in abject pain and an unpleasant odor emanated from it. She was bedridden for four years and she bore her suffering joyfully, an essential component of Christian sanctity. In 1457, a few months before her death, she requested a rose and two figs from her kitchen garden. And the nuns were very skeptical as it was January they went there just outside Cassia to her garden and found a single red rose and two figs in her garden. And brought back to her, she felt once again through this miracle that she could see her village to the smell of the rose and the flavor of the two figs. These roses are often smelt when the presence of St. Rita is around all over the world, not just here in Abidjania. And of course, the roses represent God's love for Rita and her ability to intercede on behalf of lost or impossible cases. And of course, bees and roses are very very highly vibrational the oldest love affair in history are between bees and flowers bees travel from flower to flower collecting pollen and nectar for bees the flower is the fountain of life and for flowers the bee is a messenger of love so saint rita is with us every step of this difficult journey on earth right now and we are very honored to be able to work with this magnificent high vibration going forward together as one family and because of her total dedication to our brother jesus and bearing the wound of the stigmata on her forehead. She was a great believer in the power of prayer. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer given to us by our brother Jesus. And before we pray, let us forgive ourselves and others and let us pray with open hearts joyfully without ceasing trustingly happily our father 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, rather deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory now and forever amen and to our divine mother mary the mother's heart the feminine power mother earth Queen of Peace, we ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these difficult days now on earth and helping us all to go on the journey of the heart. And to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the love, the forgiveness, the light, the joy, the gratitude, the humility, deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all carnage and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light. Out of separation, into oneness. One heart, one light, one love, one soul, one family. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us children now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
Suffering draws us apart from the material world and brings us closer to our Creator. And there's no part of the human condition that doesn't involve some kind of suffering. The wounds are where the light gets in. And now on earth, there is so much suffering. And when we suffer, finally we turn to God Almighty. We ask for help. We pray. And God never abandons us. His children is always listening to us and answering our prayers. We're all children of God. God loves us. And he knows before we even ask what we need. And he has sent so many messengers, entities of light and love to help us in this valley of tears on earth. And our beautiful sister, Saint Rita, when she walked the earth over 700 years ago, her life was fraught with so much suffering. She was 12 years old when she told her parents she wanted to be a nun. And they told her that she needed to get married for protection. And she was very obedient and disciplined, so she obeyed them. And at 18, she married a very rough man who mistreated her. And she had twins. And her husband was murdered in a time in Italy when there was vendettas. And her sons wanted to avenge his death. And Rita prayed to God that rather her sons commit this multiplication of this very heavy energy, that God take her sons back to heaven. And they died in the plague, so she sacrificed her sons. Her mother's heart was broken. And Saint Rita forgave her husband for his abuse and forgave God for taking her children. I know we're not all going to become saints in this lifetime. Far from it. But she is a shining example of what is possible when we forgive. at the end of our earthly lives is that we love each other and we forgive each other. Let us pray. I will call no man my enemy for he can only be my beloved brother whom my heart has forgotten. And I promise you, my brother, I will know you again. And falling to my knees in gratitude, I will learn to love you, my enemy, my beloved, in the same way as I am learning to love myself. I will no longer call myself my enemy, 
For I can only be my soul, my child, who was calling to me from within. And I promise you, my child, I will know you again. And embracing you in the wisdom of King Solomon, all compassionate, all loving, all forgiving. I will learn to love you, my soul, my child, in the same way as I am learning to love my brother. Amen.
and know that I am God. All roads lead to God. And God has no religion. There's only one religion, the religion of love. And the Casa de Dominacio welcomes all belief systems, all creeds, all colours, and particularly those without belief. Everyone is welcome, but no one is discriminated against. It is a house of love where the medicine is love. There is only one religion, the religion of love. Jesus is not a Christian. Buddha is not a Buddhist, Muhammad is not a Muslim, these are just labels. These are all ascended masters, teachers of love, their religion is love. Love is all there is, love never ends, we are love and we are light. And many of these beautiful entities of the Casa work with the Christ Consciousness, which is love. And on this joyous, happy day, as the Casa grows in strength, with the currents reopening, God is helping us to grow together as one family in love and light as we let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. Letting go is growing up into the light, the very essence of our being. Let us ask our sister Saint Rita to help us Walk the path of the light, not an easy path in these difficult days on earth. Dearest Sister Saint Rita, now that you enjoy the beloved face of Jesus in paradise, turn your gentle smile upon us here in this valley of tears until the spark of life is extinguished in pain may we fix our gaze on the light of the lord may your name O saint rita be dear to us in this life May you be a comfort to all of us who are suffering in desperate, abusive, painful, difficult cases here on earth. Amen.
beautiful moment now when our hearts are filled with God's love. Let us relax now into our physical bodies and be open to receive a deep, deep, deep cleansing as we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our hurt, our anger, our rage, our grudges, our resentments, anything that is not from the light, surrendering it all over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all of this denser energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen birds of paradise serenading us in a divine symphony carpets of magnificent red roses being kissed by bumblebees and hummingbirds brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive, particularly today, and those who need to forgive you and forgive yourself. This is a time of true forgiveness, of letting go of anything that's stopping us, blocking us, holding us back from becoming the beautiful life beings that we truly are. There's never been a better time to do this work of surrender. That's why we're here on earth. Let go. And let's bring anybody who's particularly suffering now on earth. Anyone who is feeling suicidal, depressed, isolated or desolate or abandoned or anyone who is homeless or trying to get home to be with their families and our brothers and sisters working in the travel industry 
who are facilitating this beautiful work of God. It's a very stressful time now. We have to be really gentle with each other. We're just walking each other home on earth. And let's bring medium Shua into this high vibration. And anyone who has suffered or who is suffering on account of the problems at the casa. And let's extend this magnificent high vibration now to our brothers and sisters on the other side of the veil who need to be liberated into the light. And we hold in our hearts, particularly those of our brothers and sisters who have gone home in the last few days or just today, that they may be welcomed back into the arms of their Creator, waiting for them. And as we receive this glorious high vibration pouring into our open hearts from on high, let's share our bounty with the world allowing it to pour forth into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth in these difficult days, performing miracles. Pouring forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders, hospices, orphanages, prisons, asylums, migrant camps, having to liberate our brothers and sisters. We're all children of God. Anywhere, everywhere on Mother Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering, pain or, in, or hungry, the children of the world who are suffering. Bringing this beautiful high vibration into all war zones, anywhere there is conflict, disharmony, fighting, riots, bringing peace in our lifetime. St. Rita's with us. To God, all things are possible. This God light penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders. And anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being. Having them to put people before prophets. This pristine, crystal clear energy now gushing forth into all of our ecosystems. Regenerating regrowing, recalibrating. Mother Earth is already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God, miracles abound. God is great. In this sacred moment now, this gorgeous high vibration enveloping Gaia, cleansing and healing all beings, carnage and disincarnate as it grows, multiplies, expands into infinity. May all beings carnage, disincarnate, all creatures great and small, be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
beautiful moment now. Smiling happily when our hearts are filled to overflowing with this beautiful high vibration. The love of God. We are in gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together as one family. To raise our vibration here on earth. And in so doing, we raise the vibration of the entire planet. This gift we have been given by God. To learn these lessons, we have come here to learn on earth and we are in such gratitude for this life we have been given so many blessings and we are not alone god is with us every step of the journey and thank you god for sending all of your messengers Angels, Archangels, Guardian Angels, Elevated Beings, Ascended Masters, Entities of Light and Love. And our beautiful Saint Rita of Cassia, who suffered a lot in human form. And she is always with us, helping us, full of compassion and love for us interceding for us in our times of trial and suffering which seems overwhelming now on earth thank you for sending us our beautiful brother jesus prince of peace and our divine mother mary queen of peace their sacred hearts beaming out their love light over us in this valley of tears and helping us to remember that when our earthly lives are over and our lessons are learned and our suffering is complete we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these entities of light and love great is that and thank you my beautiful courageous brothers and sisters for once again coming together as one family connecting to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio which is growing stronger and stronger by the day onwards and upwards we work together as one family for your faith your dedication your commitment your hope your love your light to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God your faith is healing you and all of those around you your family your friends and Mother Earth and your love and your light are changing the world forever, for the better. Congratulations and thank you. You're making a huge difference to the vibration of the planet. Let us pray. To our beautiful Saint Rita of Cassia, patron saint of impossible things. Let us ask her for this grace, this grace that all people 
would do good. And that we would encounter one another in this sacred work of God. Which is a work of creation. Like the creation of God Almighty. A work of the family because we are all children of God. All of us. one family and God loves us all of us may Saint Rita grant us this grace which seems almost impossible but we know in our heart of hearts that it is not to God all things are possible. Amen. Love, loving. Namaste.